Auburn coach Butch Thompson talks to players at Friday's practice. On April 15 at Plainsman Park, Auburn's baseball season was on the brink. The halcyon days of a 16-0 start were but a memory. The Tigers had lost three consecutive Southeastern Conference series, including a sweep at Arkansas a week earlier. They'd returned only to lose 12-3 at Samford. After splitting the first two games of a series against Mississippi State, they trailed 4-0 coming to bat in the bottom of the sixth of the series finale. They scored seven runs in that inning and went on to win the game 7-5 and the series two games to one. Everything changed that day. Today, almost two months later, Auburn, 42-21, will open its first Super Regional since 1999 against Florida, 45-18, the regular season SEC champion in no. One national seed, at McKethan Stadium in Gainesville. First pitch is set for 11 a.m. The game will be televised by ESPN. Butch Thompson's third season as head coach, the team that was once 4-8 in the SEC is two wins away from Omaha and College World Series. Auburn got to this weekend by dominating the Raleigh Regional, beating Northeastern 13-4, Army 12-1 and host in number one seed North Carolina State 15-7. Florida had to survive a winner-take-all final with a 5-2 win over Florida Atlantic to win its regional at home. The Tigers arrived in Gainesville on Friday, practicing at Bethesda Stadium. These guys will forever be a part of me and my family in Auburn for what they've done, Thompson said. The Super Regional opener will feature the most-watched pitching matchup of the postseason. Auburn's Casey Mize, chosen by the Detroit Tigers with the first pick of the Major League Draft, and Florida's Brady Singer, chosen no. 18 by the Kansas City Royals, will face off for the second time this season. Florida won the last one 3-1 on April 26. That won't be the whole game, but that'll be a huge part of it. Thompson said, Anybody who loves college baseball nationwide will be interested in the outcome. Singer will face an Auburn offense on a roll. One hitting coach Gabe Gross says has grown significantly since the previous trip to Gainesville. I haven't had the season where everything went right, but I can't imagine it would be more rewarding than this one to know the struggles we kind of went through. Almost hit rock bottom at Arkansas and came back and Samford blew us out just trying to figure it out as a coaching staff. Auburn hitting coach Gabe Gross said, Our kids really never blinked. They kept working. Every day, we had good practices. I feel like I can go back to Mississippi State when we scored seven runs in that inning to win the game. It seemed like the weight came off everybody's shoulders and we got progressively better from that point on. A mixture of newcomers and veterans have led the way. Freshman Tanner Burns, 7-4, 3.12, took over the no. Two starting spot, Cody Greenhill, 5-2, 2.11, 5 saves, another freshman, became the top bullpen option. Edouard Julian, 0.284, 17HR, 68 RBIs, leads the sex freshman in home runs with 17 and leads the SEC in RBIs. He and Stephen Williams, 11 HR, 49 RBIs, have been potent defensive forces from the start. All four are freshmen All-Americans. Three seniors, centerfielder Jaestas, 33 RBIs, defensive wizard Luke Jarvis, 3 HR, 27 RBIs, at second base and first baseman Josh Anthony, 4 HR, 38 RBI, are leaders at the plate and in the field. Left-hander Andrew Mitchell, 2-2, 4.30, another senior, solidified his place in the starting rotation. Junior college transfers Brendan Venter, 0.317, 12 HR, 45 RBIs, the third baseman, and Brett Wright, 0.264, 11 HR, 45 RBIs, the catcher, provided power in the middle of the batting order. Thompson watched it all come together in Raleigh. We played with a different looseness, a different speed. Thompson said. It was special. Sunday's game in the best of three series is set for an 11 a.m. start. Monday's game, if necessary, is set for 7.30 p.m. 
All three games will be televised by ESPN.